Welcome back, guys. Episode number four with your Ottawa Senators. We are here, year two draft. We uh, did not make the playoffs. We had a better record than the year before, but we finished 31, 47, and 4. Uh, nowhere close to a playoff spot. Uh, Brady Kachuk led the way in points with 61. Uh, so last episode, we talked about what our plans were for the draft. So the, one of the p ideas I have, and I'm going to probably go through with it, is Tyler Toffoli. Signed him last year. Signed him for, how much did I sign him? 4.6 for three years. Thinking, okay, hopefully he can get 40, maybe 50 points a year. He finished with 28 on the second line. Uh, so my idea is to see if we can get anybody for Tyler Toffoli at the draft. The other idea we had, or I had at least, was if we take a look at our draft board, it shows our picks. Uh, projected, So we're projected 5th and 25th. I wanted to see what we could get if we tried to trade the 5th because I want to see if we can get a better player all around. And then the other idea is to try and see if we can get a goaltender, possibly. Like I said, Linus Olmark, I thought, did not do as well as I thought he would. So we could see about that. So why don't we jump into the draft? I'll show you guys the, uh, the draft class here. Take a look. So you got uh, Atu Ratty, uh, Larry Gostad, Lassie McKinnon, Trevor Wong, Cole Sillinger, Zachary Lahiro, Joshua Waugh, Matthias Hoodler, Francisco Pinelli, Brett Harrison, and Pavel Solyevov, just to name off the top 10. So why don't we go find trade? We'll do Tyler fully after. I just want to see what we can get for the fifth. So if we take the fifth, let's see what we can get for the fifth. We can get Ben Hutton, a fourth and a fourth. Or Nick Letty, a fifth and a fifth. So we can't get much for the fifth. Which really disappoints me. I hope I was thought thinking maybe we could. Now what if we put Tyler to Foley though into that mix with the first? Does anybody want to take that? Nope, same same team wants to take control of that. Okay. What about just Tyler to Foley in general? So we can get two thirds and anti ranta, but his contract's up, not saying he want to resign. A third and a fourth. Third and a fourth, third and a fourth, third and a fourth. Just a bunch of thirds and a fourth, third and a fifth. Yeah, so only one team would will give us a player, and that's Anti Ranta. So nothing in the likes of trades for us so far uh, when it comes to that. Quickly, though, goaltenders. Linus Allmark, does he have? He has little value. I don't know if he would have anything. Yeah, two seconds, a third and a fourth. Nothing for us. Okay, so we're going to have to draft at the fifth overall pick, which is fine with me. That it gives us more a options for the draft for uh, prospects. So let's see who we have available here. And as I thought right here, Cole Stillinger would be our guy by the looks of it. He's projected sixth. Uh, he's one year away. He's compared to Marion Gabrick. So you know what? We're going to take another center. We have a bunch of them. We can use them as trade bait. The only other thing now that I think of is Matthias Hoodler. He's NHL ready and he's compared to Sean Couturier. Now I'm confused. Now I don't know what to do. A plus and his C minus. We're going to take Hoodler actually now because I see it. So what I'm seeing with Hoodler is that he is an exact, we have him draft, or sorry, drafted, scouted exactly elite. So we're going to take the elite over the top six. And we'll see where does Cylinder go. Cylinder goes right after. So the 25th pick. We could, same thing, I want to try it again. We'll try and see if we can get a trade for the 5th, 25th pick. See if anybody is willing to take that. Uh, no. Okay. What about, same thing, what if I put Tyler Toffoli into that mix? Is that, no trades found. Okay. Let's see what we get here at the 25th. Uh, right winger, a center, a left wing. I'm probably going to go with the left wing. We got two Pete Ho, nothing to report on him. Dylan Guntier, uh, we're gonna we'll go with Guntier only because we have him actually scouted and we know what he looks like a bit. So we're gonna go to the thirty fourth pick in the second round. This episode, guys, might just be the draft. It'll probably just be the draft and free agency. I don't see anything going any more out of that. Uh, Cameron Hemingway, you're next for us. 
And a 37 pick now. Probably going to got a heading worth there, but that's okay. Uh, Matthias Gustafsson, another left-handed defenseman. We've got a lot of those. Um, but best available player. Uh, goaltender, Ty Tristan Lennox. And perfect. We need more goaltender depth, I think. After that abysmal year. Uh, actually, now that I think of it, is there any gems that I don't know about yet? There is no gems that I know about. Okay. So Alex Christopoulos or Justin O'Donnell. He's higher up. We're going to take uh, O'Donnell or Christopoulos. All right, keep moving along here. Uh, Got to take the 67 all the way. Got to take the 67. Keep him in Ottawa. Uh, Sam, I don't need defensemen that are left-handed. Don't need centers, so we're going to take Robbie from Delarome. Sure. All our picks we got. And Miguel Turnier or Sam Steadley. Miguel Turnley's higher up. We're going to take him. In the seventh round, finally. Got so many picks here. Uh, Krill, that's a defenseman. So many defensemen. Take the next guy, Matt Berka. And that is it for the draft, guys. So we got a lot of good picks in there, I think. Hoodler will be interesting to see. He says he's NHL ready. I've got a lot of centers. Uh, expiring all the AHL coaches need contracts. Uh, head coach. Defense. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, just making sure because I know something to change it. Uh, goalie coach. Hopefully they all sign. And I got a lot of scouts that need to re-sign. Let's get this out of the way. I like to see at the end of this video, guys, how some of these players develop over the off-season. Because I think a lot of them are going to have big years. Uh, we're going to go to contracts. I see Drake Batherson needs a contract. Alexander Steen does not want to come back. That's fine. We only picked him up for that. Cap space. I got $14 million in cap space. Drake Batherson wants a one year. Eight years at that much. I know it's cheating the system. But if we can get them for that much, I will take it. And he actually will develop. He just needs to move up. On the the roster, J.C. Baudet, he played great, actually, when he called, got called out to Ottawa this year. Mike Riley will bring him up for depth. Uh, Taylor Lear does not want to come back. Logan Brown, that'll prove you. Vitaly Abramoff, never grows in this game. La Joie. Uh, Christian Wallanen doesn't want to, but will qualify him as an RFA. Uh, now this is just the minors. Uh, Quentin Byfield, I just realized, I passed by. We're going to sign him. Give him a chance in the preseason. Jonathan Davidson wants to come back. Mark Kostalik just signed in real life. We're going to sign him. Uh, Reinhardt, we won't sign just yet. Uh, just looking here now. Not much. Asling, you can get signed just to help with the depth. Uh, Benson, you're signed. And Hoodler was the other one. Do I remember? Okay, so he's from he's from Europe, so he can come over and play the minors, which is good. Uh, Nilsson does not want to come back, so we will find someone new. Hogberg is ready, but we have so many goaltenders now. Hogberg, thank you for your service. It has been a pleasure. Gustafson, he needs a contract, so it's still going to be just Gustafson and Decord. Uh, Sogard not too far behind, and then I got a bunch of goaltenders right there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a look to see. Uh, so you, welcome back. Thanks for mulling over it. Okay, the assistant coach does not want to come back in the AHL. We got to look at that. And the goalie coach does not want to come back. Okay, so we got to get those fixed. 
uh, Hoodler signs, Batherson signs, Riley signs, Bonet signs, Brown signs, Gurkoni signs, Lejoie signs, Abramoff signs, Davidson signs, Gustafson signs, Quinton Byfield signs, Castellick signs, Astling signs. Perfect. And I can't sign a coach yet. Coach is one of those. Yeah, all our scouts are signing. So before we make any... Yeah, I'm going to have to hire a coach. Thank you. Okay, so it was the AHL assistant coach. So why don't we... Oh, assistant coach, AHL. Selleck, you cheap enough. Brock Selleck. 35%. That is not... 35, 35, 33. Oh, my. 36 is our best, but... Angle. Emma Angle, would you be better for goaltenders, actually? He's a, she's a goaltender specialist, so why don't we put that and then offer her the assistant coach? Because she, the first girl had a specialist of goaltending. So let's take a look at the free agents here. So we got $12 million to spend. I had Anthony Mantha being the highest. Better on power on line three. So what we do there is we sign him, but we do have so much enough already. I could see Brendan Gallagher being better fit, actually. Brendan Gallagher would be a better fit forwardly, forward wise. So what we would do is we'd sign get him signed. Ship out to Foley. So we're gonna try and sign Brendan Gallagher. I'll give him a 6.2 contract for five years. So let's see if Gandon Gallagher will sign. I need a backup goaltender now that I think of it, or a starting goaltender, depending which goaltender is available. Matt Murray, Bennington, Riddick. So I'm going to go with the likes of Philip Grubauer on this one. I was tempted to go with Thatcher Demko, but he's still an RFA, and I don't want to give up a pick for him yet. So we'll get him for Grubauer for a one-year deal. So let's see if Gallagher would sign Carl Haglin trade. Forgot I had Haglin. We'll ship Haglin out. More money for us. Uh, so the goaltender coach signs and the assistant coach signs down in the AHL. Perfect. Grubauer will sign with us. So we got a goal, two goaltenders. And Brendan Gallagher signs. So now we can ship out Tyler Toffoli. And they want to give us Logan Stanley back. Okay, so this may have been a help already. Logan Stanley, are you a left -handed? you're a left-handed shot. And I don't know anything about you. Sorry, Winnipeg. Now we're hopefuls. Moving Tyler to Foley, trust me guys, will help the team out financially. Getting a bunch of seconds back. Winnipeg, I can give you to Foley if you want. They offered first. I'll give them to Foley. So what we're looking at forward-wise going into next year. One. So Taylor Hall, Brendan Gallagher, White. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got to go get one more player. Don't forget we also have Raymond. So I'm going to go get one more player. We're going to try Byfield in the NHL as well. See what we can get there. Defense-wise, one, two, we need defensemen. We're going to go sign a defenseman. A right-handed shot, preferably. If there's any available. Justin Schultz is our first guy. He fits defensive pairing one. He's an offensive defenseman. Or you got Christopher Tanneth, line three. Next one up would be David Savard, line three. Jason Demers is a right-handed right shot. I forgot. Line two. So a lot of these guys fit it. They fit the bill. I'm going to go with Justin Schultz on this one. He's actually more expensive now that I thought of it. Over Christopher Tanneth. You know what? I'll offer him five for two years. And then I need a depth player. So why not bring back Ryan Dezingle? I think I got some of this right here. Dezingle does not want to sign. I think I made that a bit too late. Justin Schultz signs, though. So we got some defensemen. And then I just need... Zach Hyman's expensive for a third liner. He doesn't even fit. Okay. Marcus Johansson. Will that fit the bill? 
does not have a hundred percent scouted. Tanner Pearson does not. And now I'm just getting a bit low. Thomas Vanek, none. Okay, let's do this properly. Okay, Kolchuk would fit. Stall fits. Johansson fits. Shea Sauce fits. Craig Smith fits. Craig Smith seems more like a likely at this point for some experience. Yeah, we're going to go with Craig Smith. He's a bit cheaper. And for a one-year deal, Craig Smith, because that gives us an extra forward. Wayne Simmons, no, thank you. Dmitry Kulikov, interesting, but no, not yet. Craig Smith signs, okay, perfect. Kulikov is offered again. Okay, so I think we have a great, te better team now, obviously, going into next year. Take a look here quickly before I continue with the simming. Uh, so forward, so this is what we're looking at forward-wise going into next year. Hall, Gallagher, White, Kachuk, Wenberg, Duclair, Batherson, Craig Smith, Wayne Simmons, Rudolph Balsers, Formanton, Bobby Ryan, Norris, but I also have the likes of Logan Brown, Lucas Raymond, and Quinton Byfield. On defense, we're going to the likes of Thomas Shabbat, Justin Schultz, Sammy Votnin, Jacob Bernard Docker, Christian Yaros, and Nikita Zaitsev with the likes of Eric Branstrom also, sorry. And goaltenders, Grubauer and Allmark. Grubauer might actually be higher than we thought, which would be perfect. Um, so we're just going to sign some depth guys for the uh, minor league squad. And we're just going to quickly go down here. Christian Wallanen still isn't signed, so that's another one that we uh, have. I'm just trying to see two-way deals because that's where we're going to get most of it. Brandon Peary, sign him. Bring back Frederick Clayson. Trevor Daly, interesting. The Wayson, bring him back to Ottawa. He was drafted by Ottawa. Jack Quinn, is that who I'm thinking? Jack Quinn, we're going to sign Jack Quinn. Interesting that he's not signed. Top five, top ten pick at least this year in this year's draft, and he is not signed in this game. Very underrated player. Just signing a bunch of guys now. Schwit and Gannett. I think he's not ours. Okay. Okay. So then we got our guys. I think we're good for going into next season. Advanced day. Okay. Sorry. My next. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we got some guys. Wayne Simmons for a second and fourth, no. Travis Hamannick for Wayne Simmons, no. A lot of players, people want Wayne Simmons. Unless you're blowing the socks off me, I don't think it's going to happen. Travis Hamannick, I want to see why they want to give me Hamannick. Defensive pairing, too, he fits, but I don't see it. I do have a lot of players. Their morale has just knocked them down a bit. Wayne Simmons is still good here in Ottawa. We're just going to get a lot of Wayne Simmons offers now. I apologize. Christian Wallen could stay as an RFA. I have a lot of defensemen. Like I have Riley as depth. Worst comes to worst, if a team offer sheets me or he just ends up going to free agency, he goes to free agency. I've got a lot of players that I think are going to fit the bill better. So, we're going to name a captain this year, not Taylor Hall. Good try. He gets the alternate. Thomas Shabbat will be the captain of your Ottawa Senators, as I think he will. Oh, I did not give him the alternate. That's awkward. Okay, so Taylor Hall, or not Taylor, Taylor Hall will not be it. It'll be Thomas Shabbat. So, the first line stays the same. Second line still stays the same. It's the bottom line now that's not fitting the bill. And I realize Brandon Peary should not be up here in the big light. Uh, where is he? Brandon Peary can get set down. We're going to try. Where is he? I'm already losing people. Great. Uh, Quentin Byfield. And I realize also we should bring Raymond up because he was here last year. Okay, so what does Quinton Byfield bring on that fourth line? 
Nothing. Alex Foreman. To, oh, I've got a lot of great guys here. This is going to fit well. Craig Smith. What do I put in Lucas Raymond? Nothing. Bobby Ryan. Nothing. We're going to leave Lucas Raymond. I want to see if he actually is developed or not. Defense. Plus three on that first line. Plus one on that second line. And plus one. I just realized, though, if I go scratch players, they're all forwards. So Noasen will get sent down, and I need Branstrom to come up. Because Branstrom should be playing in the big leagues. He played last year. I don't see why he can't play this year. Uh, so we'll send Noasen down. And call up Mr. Branstrom. And if Byfield needs an extra year of development, I'm fine with that. I mean, 77, 79, they're fitting... Hoodler's going to play on that third line. And Jarls will come out. Branstrom will come in. Not fitting it, not fitting it. Oof, minus three. You're still a plus, you are still a plus three. Branstrom doesn't fit that. Still doesn't fit that. Branstrom's not fitting for some reason, which is odd. So he could play on the third line with Bernard Docker, but that plus three right there. So Shabbat sitting at 91 right now, playing like a 94, which is perfect. Uh, power play. I don't know why I've got a forward or a... Just trying to even this out. I want Kachuk on that first line, Wenberg on that first line. Uh, Schultz will come out, Branstrom will go in there. Yeah, that fits well. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. So that's it for that. We'll do preseason, and then that'll be it for this episode, I think, guys. I'm running you over 20 minutes now. Uh, so let's see here what we got for Quinton Byfield as potential. Same with Lucas Raymond. Wayne Simmons could have been dealt, but you never know, right? And we're losing games, which is just great to see. Great to see all around. Still struggling as a team, but we go three and four. I think that's the best preseason we've gotten so far. It's Taylor Hall the way with 10 points. Perfect. We're hopeful now. We're not rebuilder. So Quinton Byfield sitting at a 79 overall. I'm going to play him on here just for fun. It says he's better on the first. He still sits nice. We're going to play him on the third line. Lucas Freeman as well on the third line. He is not really fitting the bill on this team, actually. I think if he doesn't fit the if he doesn't play well this year, I think what we could do. I know I sound stupid for doing it. We move him, and we try that. Brady Kachuk still waiting for you to develop a little bit more. Uh, same with you, Batherson. You fit better though on that line. So if we do have Wayne Simmons that could be moved at any point. Craig Smith, Bobby Ryan. We have a lot of guys that we can move. As for the defense. Nothing really changes in the likes of that. Okay. So, that is it for me, guys, here in the year two offseason. Uh, you let me know what we should do. If there's any moves we should make, I'll show you the once again who we have we could use as trade bait. So, if we look at our trade bait, we got Bobby Ryan, Craig Smith, Christian Yaros, just to name a couple. Bobby Ryan, remember, he has a big deal, it's his last year. So that will be not too hard, like usual, to move out. I think we're moving in the right direction, guys. I think we've got a way better team. I'm going back in here again. Our first line should carry us again like it did last year. That doesn't make a difference. I'm just looking here. Okay. And defense, Thomas Shabbat's only getting better. He's still 24. I think he this will be a big year for him. Considering the last last year he had his first year with us, 69 points. Last year was a bit of an offseason with 52. Hopefully these minuses though are better than any better than last year. And I actually just noticed, take a look at his NHL totals. 298 games, 201 points. So he could be something good for great for us here in Ottawa. That's it for me, guys. You Drop in the comments. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you for year three with the Ottawa Senators.